guys, today we're going to be looking at EE8 again, where we're going to write the inequality, solve it, and then graph it. So let's go ahead and look at this one. It says write an inequality. Now remember the word inequality means we're looking for less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. If you just put an equal sign, it's an equation. If you don't put an inequality or an equal sign, it is just an expression. So make sure we're using uh, the right signs here. It says the, uh, the sum of 1 and x is less than 5. All right, so notice that the word sum is addition. So we're going to add 1 and x. So we have 1 plus x. Okay, so there's our sum. Then it says is less than 5. Now remember, less than. Less than means it's getting smaller. Or you can think about your left hand. That's your less than sign. It forms an L, but it also forms your less than sign. So less than 5. Now, if you notice, our inequality cannot be left this way because our variable is not isolated. So what we're going to do is we're going to solve it just like an equation and do inverse operations to isolate that variable. So minus 1 on both sides. So this one will cancel out because 1 minus 1 is 0. And in addition, that gives us our identity of x. Then we have x is less than 4. All right, so now here's the trick. You can read this x is less than 4. You could also read this 4 is greater than x. Now, we can use what we call the arrow rule, but we can only use the arrow rule if the variable is on the left. So just know that you can move it back and forth. If we ended up with the problem 4 is greater than x, you could always read it from backward, from the right to left, and it still means the same thing. But if you read it this way, make sure you say x is less than 4 and 4 is greater than x. So we're going to go to 4. It's going to be an open circle at 4 because it does not have an equal to sign. And we're going to go left, which means, obviously, less than 4. Okay? Now we have this one. It said, again, write an inequality. So we're going to be using less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. It says 3 is less than. Okay, so less than, there's our less than sign. All right, so uh, we got y minus 2. 3 is less than y minus 2, okay? Now, we still have to solve it. We have to isolate the variable by doing inverse operations. So we're going to add 2 to both sides. That cancels out. Then we have y is greater than 1. Okay, you could also read that left to right, 1 is less than y. Now, if you wanted to graph it very easily, we could use the, um, the arrow rule, but only if the variable's on the left. If the variable's not on the left, we can just reverse it, or you can just read it backwards. It means the same thing. So basically, you could say 1 is less than y, or you could read it backwards and say y is greater than 1. And it still means the exact same thing. So we're going to go to 1, open circle, because there's no equal to sign underneath these inequalities. And we're going to go to the right, which should make sense to us because y has got to be bigger than 1. So that can be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, a million. It does not matter as long as it's greater than 1. In this scenario, it just cannot be equal to 1. So just remember, if it says write an inequality, make sure you're using the right symbols. You can use the arrow rule if the variable's on the left. If not, you can always read it backwards and forwards.